Hi everyone, this is Andrew and Mandy from Plainview Farm and this is the pig that we took to the processor. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to talk about the cuts that we have laying out here on the island top and we're also going to talk about what it costs to get all of this meat laid out here on the island top. I'm not talking about how much it costs to haul it in the car, I'm talking about how much it costs to have this pig processed. So as far as the individual cuts here, uh, we have ham hocks, uh, which ham hocks are smoked and cured. We also have smoked and cured hams. Uh, in this instance, what we did is we had um, one ham smoked and cured and cut in half. The rest of it I'll show you in just a moment. We have bacon, uh, and so the processor that we use, they slice up the bacon like what you normally see here, okay? This is your normal uh, bacon package. Uh, then there's always ends and pieces. We have the ends and pieces, which the ends and pieces are great for salads. We love to fry these up and put these on salads and throw them in with green beans, different things like that. But, uh, so this is, this is bacon uh, from the belly of the hog and this is jowl bacon, which jowl bacon is really great for sandwiches because they're a little bit larger strips and they're, they're nicer you know for putting on sandwiches that kind of stuff so this is something this is actually something new that we did this year um, the bratwurst i've been buying quite a few of these uh, so andrew decided to do up some of these so i haven't really found a lot of recipes i'm pretty simple when it comes to cooking we just do bratwurst in the pan with a bun Okay, so the ground pork, it's something that I didn't think I would ever use, but it's one of the first things that gets used up. Um, I usually just brown it, add some taco seasoning, and do it with tacos. When we have tacos, this is what I always want first. And then we have breakfast sausage. Um, I choose it mostly for biscuits and gravy. Uh, my son loves it patty, so sometimes I'll do that. Then we have the pork chops. Andrew's favorite, you got them thicker this time. I just fry these in a cast iron skillet. I don't really even add seasoning, maybe some pepper, I don't know. They're really, really good. We normally have them put in packages of two. These pork chops are one inch thick. Pork chop is my favorite cut of meat in the whole wide world. And you don't have to use a cast iron skillet. We like to. Um, but well, Mandy really likes cast iron skillets. Um, I actually, I like to use uh, stainless steel skillet that we have. It's actually saddle master stuff it's that good. I really like to use. She likes the cast iron, which I mean, she, you know, does awesome with the cast iron. So I mean, I'm not complaining. I don't want to take over the cooking at all. Um, but uh, you don't have to use cast iron if you don't want to. We also have roasts. Okay, this right here is a Boston butt roast. Okay, the Boston butt uh, it comes from the, the shoulder of the pig. Uh, also from the shoulder, we have pork steaks right here, uh, two in a package. These are like five-eighths of an inch thick, uh, not quite as thick as the pork chops. I like uh, pork steaks, they're, they're good. Um, we have a pork shoulder roast. Uh, this is the you know same thing as the, the pork steaks, but we've got a roast there. Um, we've got another Boston butt. We've got some ham roasts here, one, two, three ham roasts. So we also have a couple of loin roasts as well. And then ribs. I love the ribs. So I'll just, you know, put them on in the oven. We also have back there in that large bag, that is lard, okay, which can be rendered. Um, it's just ground, I don't know, yeah, I'm sure you can see through the, the plastic there. It's just ground um, to where it can be rendered. Um, if, you know, if you use lard, that's something we always say we're gonna do, but we never have. Okay, so what I have right here is the order sheet, and I'll kind of run down what everything cost for us to get this pig processed. So I'll start with the weight. The live weight of the pig whenever we took him off of the trailer and they ran him across the scale in order to first take him in there to the facility at the processor was 274 pounds. The pig weighed 274 pounds, which for me, I feel like that is 
an ideal weight for a pig that you want to process. Usually that's what I shoot for whenever I'm raising hogs. I want my pigs to be somewhere between 250 and 300 pounds. And the processors, they like pigs uh, to be that size because that tends to be what they are set up to process. And you know, a lot of times that's what you want to, that's what you want to do. You know, you, you want to have a good relationship with your processor. Um, this order right here, this, this order, we did not uh, have it inspected because we don't plan to sell it. Uh, we plan to eat this pig. Uh, this was for our own consumption. But if you're processing pigs and you're going to go to the farmer's market or, or you know, something along those lines, you're, you're processing to resell uh, to customers, then you know you want to you want to develop a relationship with a processor that you know what they are equipped to handle. You know what kind of animals they like to process. Now, naturally, you know those that are, are in business and they do good business, they're going to try to accommodate you as well. But you know there's a lot of give and take in those kinds of relationships. So the idea is to try to you know find somebody that you can work with and, and you know work with them, and, and hopefully they'll work with you. So the hanging weight of this pig, and that is the weight of the pig after all of the organs are removed, you know, those kinds of things, uh, was 181 pounds. And as I mentioned, this pig was not USDA inspected because we're not reselling it. And the cost for this pig to be processed for our own consumption was that 181 pound weight at 70 cents per pound. So the back of my receipt breaks down, and I'll show you this a little bit closer here in just a moment. The back of my receipt breaks down the individual costs that are in addition to the 70 cents per pound. So the cost to have the bacon smoked and cured was an additional 70 cents on top of the uh, overall processing cost. Uh, the bratwurst, it was an additional um, $31.50 total. And, and again, the bacon was 70 cents per pound. There was uh, 46 pounds uh, at 70 cents a pound. Just so I'm clear, also the the hams and the ham hocks, you know, those were an additional 70 cents a pound. The burger was 25 cents a pound to have it ground and processed, and the sausage was 70 or 50 cents a pound to have it processed. And like I said, this was all in addition to that 70 cents a pound. There's also a few fees on my ticket here. Uh, the slaughter fee is $40, just a flat rate $40 slaughter fee and a $5 disposal fee. So the total cost to have this 274 pound pig processed the way that we desired, again for our own consumption, was $235.40. And again, you can see here on the ticket, it shows uh, the weight, the processing costs, uh, the totals up here with all the fees. This is our cut order, the breakdown of our order right there. Then on the back side of the receipt, you have the breakdown of all the additional costs, uh, the additional processing fees for, again, the sausages, the bacon, those kinds of things. So this is what that pig looks like in our freezer. We have a deep freeze in the utility room in our basement, and that's where we store all the meat. So not all of the meat in this freezer is from this same pig that we just had processed. There are a few uh, ham steaks, those kinds of things that we have left over from the last one that we had processed, but the vast majority of what's in this freezer is what we've just shown you today. So I know this wasn't the typical kind of video that I have on this channel, but hey, processing meat and uh, putting it in the freezer, that's all part of the farm life as well. As always, I appreciate you, and if you didn't find this video useful, I hope you at least found it entertaining. We'll see you next time.